and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on UTI in pregnancy. UTI is urinary tract infection and it is commonly seen in pregnancy. Around 8% of the women have asymptomatic bacteriuria where there is bacteria found in the urine but they don't have any UTI symptoms. However, if this UTI is untreated, it may progress to serious urinary tract infection or can even progress to pyelonephritis, which is a serious condition. And it may be associated with complications such as low birth weight and preterm delivery of the baby. These are some predisposing factors to UTI in pregnancy. If the mother has history of recurrent cystitis, renal tract abnormalities such as duplex system, scarred kidneys, damage to the ureter or ureteric stones, if the mother has diabetes mellitus, it is a risk factor for UTI as well. And also bladder emptying problems such as multiple sclerosis. So these are the clinical features of UTI in pregnancy. The patient might have symptoms like low back pain, general malaise, and flu-like symptoms. So the patient usually presents as these symptoms whereas the classic presentation of UTI are seldomly seen, which are the frequency, dysuria, and hematuria. Whereas the signs for UTI in pregnancy on examination, the vital signs might show tachycardia and also pyroxia, where there is fever. Signs of dehydration and loin tenderness may be present. The investigations should include a full blood count and also midstream specimen of urine, MSU, should be sent for urgent microscopy, culture, and sensitivities to look for the exact organism causing the UTI. And the most common organism for UTI is Escherichia coli, which is E. coli. And some other possible organisms are Streptococci, Proteus, Pseudomonas, and Klebsiella organisms. So if in the culture of the urine, if more than 10 to the power of 5 organisms are present, this will confirm a diagnosis of UTI. So for management, if there is a strong clinical suspicion of UTI, the treatment with antibiotics should be started immediately. And the first line antibiotics for UTI are amoxicillin or oral cephalosporins. The woman should also be advised to drink plenty of clear fluids and also take a simple analgesic such as paracetamol if there is any pain. So a more serious condition of UTI is pyelonephritis, where there is infection spreading to the kidneys. And this pyelonephritis is characterized by dehydration, a very high temperature, which is more than 38.5 degrees Celsius. There might be systemic disturbance, and sometimes the patient might present with shock. So this condition requires urgent and aggressive treatment, which includes intravenous fluid, opiate analgesia, and IV antibiotics, such as cephalosporin or gentamicin. In addition, the renal function should be determined with at least the baseline urea and electrolytes. And the baby must be monitored with cardiotocography, CTG monitoring. Whereas for those mothers who had recurrent UTI in pregnancy, they will require a midstream urine specimen, MSU, to be sent to the microbiology laboratory at each antenatal visit and the doctor may prescribe a low dose prophylactic oral antibiotic. The investigation for the cause of the recurrent UTI should take place after delivery unless there is frank hematuria or other symptoms that, su that suggest that an urgent diagnosis is essential. Then we have to do investigation during delivery or else we just do the investigation after delivery. So the investigations that we can do might include a renal ultrasound scan, renal DMSA function scan, creatinine clearance, intravenous urogram, and also a cystoscopy. That's all for this video. Thank you.